Let me start by giving you a good old chimpanzee greeting. And that means this is me, this is Jane. So I'm Jane Goodall. And my first real experience of observing animal behavior and how to do it and how not to do it happened when I was four and a half years old. We went to stay on a farm in the country, my mother and me, and it was so exciting. Cows, pigs, horses, face to face. And I was given a job of helping to collect the hen's eggs. And they were pecking around in the farmyard, but to lay their eggs, they went into these little hen houses where they also slept at night. But then apparently I was asking everybody, but here's the egg. Where's the hole on the hen big enough for the egg to come out? And there were about six of these little hen houses. I went into an empty one and waited and waited and waited. And finally, I was rewarded. And a hen came in. I can close my eyes and see her now. She raised up a little on her legs and plop, out came the egg onto the straw. And I don't know who is it more excited, me or the hen. <laughs> So I'm really excited. My poor mother had no idea where I was. I'd been gone for four hours and she'd even called the police. But nevertheless, when she saw this excited little girl rushing towards the house, instead of getting angry at me, how dare you go off without telling us, uh, which would have killed the excitement, she sat down to listen to the wonderful story of how a hen lays an egg. I was learning from A, being out in nature, which is the best way to learn, but also from books. And I was absolutely passionate about books. My family had very little money. Uh, World War II was raging and we couldn't afford new books. But I found a little secondhand bookshop and I would spend hours in it. And I would save up my few pennies of pocket money. And on this occasion, 10 years old, I found this little book, which I still have, and I just had enough money to buy it, and it was called Tarzan of the Apes. So of course I fell passionately in love with this glorious Lord of the Jungle. And oh, what did he do? He married the wrong Jane. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so I was very jealous. Well, of course I knew there wasn't a Tarzan, but that's when my dream began. I would grow up, go to Africa, live with wild animals and write books about them. Everybody laughed at me. You don't have money. There's a war. Africa's far away. How on earth do you think you're going to do that? Anyway, you're just a girl. Girls don't do that sort of thing. Dream about something you can achieve, but not my mother. Again, we come back to my wonderful mother. And she said, if you really want to do something like this, you're going to have to work awfully hard and take advantage of all opportunities, but don't give up. Hola Jane, me llamo Cristina y estoy encantadísima de estar aquí y conocerte porque a mí me encantaría hacer todo el trabajo que hiciste tú. ¿Cuál crees tú que es el rol de las mujeres en el mundo y qué es lo que tú le dirías a una niña que quiere ser científica como, por ejemplo, yo? Well, first of all, when I began working with the chimpanzees, nobody had done it before. It wasn't something men did. It was something nobody did. And uh, I was really lucky because Louis Leakey, the one who asked me if I would go and study the chimpanzees, he believed that women made better observers. But science is changing, and now women are moving into scientific fields where they didn't before. And so if I meet young women who really want to go into science, but I just repeat, what my mother told to me. And I say, you know, if you really want to do this, you're going to have to work really hard, maybe harder than your male counterpart, I don't know, uh, get good results in your exams. And by and large, women are doing really, really well in, in these fields and don't give up. And, you know, I wish my mother was alive to know how many people have come up to me and said, Jane, I want to thank you because you did it, I can do it too. My favorite story about the, the man-woman thing in science or any other field 
It's a tribe in Latin America somewhere, and I'm not quite sure which country. I think it's Guatemala, but I'm not sure. And tribe of indigenous people. And they told me, or oh, the chief told me, he said, we think of our tribe as like an eagle. And one wing is male, and the other wing is female. And only when the two wings are equal will our tribe fly true. And I love that story. That's what we have to aim for. We have to aim for equality. And we're moving a long way towards that, at least in the Western world. Still a long way to go, but we'll get there by working hard, taking advantage of opportunity, and not giving up. Mm -hmm.